Hi, my name is Alexa Hardick and today we are going to be defining and discussing leadership. We're going to talk about the definition of leadership, characteristics of leaders, and mainly two styles of leadership, transactional leadership and transformational leadership. First, um, I would like to define leadership according to businessdictionary.com. Um, leadership can be defined as the individuals who are leaders in an organization regarded collectively or the activity of leading a group of people or an organization or the ability to do something. Um, this businessdictionary.com goes on to say that leadership involves five main steps. First, establishing a clear vision. Second, sharing the vision with others so that they will follow willingly. Third, providing the information knowledge and methods methods to realize that vision and last uh, coordinating and balancing the conflicting interests of all members and stakeholders um, lastly then they go on to say that um, generally a leaderships a leader steps up in times of crisis and is able to react in difficult uh, situations I think that these five main steps are important um, because they really define what a leader is supposed to do. There are plenty of other um, characteristics, but ultimately a leader helps um, establish the vision of the organization and relays that to the employees. So um, I wanted to talk about two main types of um, leadership styles today, and those are transactional leadership and transformational leadership. So first, um, transactional leadership was established by Max Weber in 1980. In 1947, excuse me, um, and according to FloridaTech.com, um, transactional leadership can be defined as a leadership style primarily based on processes and control and requires a strict management process. Um, essentially, this style assumes that workers are not self-motivated and require structure monitoring and instruction in order to complete tasks in order to complete tasks on time. Um, um, contingency is an a word that usually comes up with this style of leadership because um, employees' performance is contingent upon rewards um, and those can be either economic, generally economic, um, so bonuses and things such as that. Um, so we have a question. From the class, um, uh, the question is, what are some characteristics of a transactional leader? Um, and some of those would be structured policies and procedures, following the rules, they're focused on short-term goals, they're generally left-brained, and they're inflexible. Um, so some, um, some famous transactional leaders that you may have heard are uh, Vince Lombardi, who was a famous Green Bay Packers coach, and he made his teams do the same drills over and over until they were perfect. Um, and then another one is Bill Gates, the founder of Microsoft. Um, he was very tough on employees, and he would drill them with questions um, when they were developing new products to make sure that they had everything down. And both of these coaches, um, or both of these people, basically had in mind what they wanted, and they asked questions to make sure that um, it was done correctly, basically checking on their employees, not a lot of freedom from employees. Um, okay, next question. Um, what are some of the pros and cons of transactional leadership is the question. Um, some of the pros would be that it provides structure for organizations. Um, they're able to achieve short-term short -term goals quickly and, and rewards and penalties are clearly defined. Um, some of the cons is Creativity is not as much of an option. Um, it, it's not as much of an innovative atmosphere in the organization. And um, transactional leadership generally does not reward personal initiative. Um, next, I would like to talk about transformational leadership. Um, according to St. Thomas Online, the transformational leader motivates workers and understands how to form them into integral units that work well with others. Um, generally, it's different because they lead by inspiring and 
by inspiring employees and um, there's an internal motivation there to complete tasks as opposed to transactional which is more follow the rules. Um, so some characteristics of a transformational leader would be they're team oriented, um, they respect their employees and return respect, and they instill, instill responsibility and internal motivation in their employees. Um, a famous trans uh, transformational leader is Satya Nadella, of C the CEO of Microsoft. Um, she was known for listening and encouraging employees to work on, on projects that they're passionate about. Um, so question, um, some, the question is what are some of the pros and cons of transformational leadership? Um, pros would be that those leaders are excellent at communicating ideas um, they're great at balancing balancing short-term visions and long-term short-term vision and long-term goals, and um, they have a high emotional intelligence. Um, some of the cons of of transformational leadership would be they're in uh, they're not as great in ad hoc situations and they don't work well with uh, bureaucratic structures. They're more open um, open and I guess it's more of a new age idea. Um, so to wrap it up, I want to talk about the importance of leadership in an organization. Um, leadership is the person that initiates action. Um, it, without them, it's hard to really get the vision or mission accomplished to the organization. Um, next, they motivate employees. Um, they also they create confidence in employees. And last, um, the leaders are the ones that really build the culture. So. Um, the organizations really need leaders to to instill that culture and let them know what the organization is all about and have something to follow. Um, and that's all I have for now. So thank you for listening to me. And uh, if you have any other questions on leadership, I would love to answer them. Thanks and have a great day.